my name is Rachel Neese, otherwise known as the Beauty Professor. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am very much looking forward to discussing a topic I get a lot of questions about and that has to do with the products that I use for my hair. So of course there are some products that are just lifetime gold standard go-to's for me and then always some new products that I'm integrating in. I definitely believe in an inside out approach in terms of keeping your hair healthy and strong. So I'll cover some supplements today that I take regularly as well as some key hair care formulations. I hope this is really informative for you and please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. Up front, I recognize that everyone's hair is different. Everyone responds to products differently. That is the reason why we have such a vast and expansive beauty industry. Not every product works for everyone and not everything is for everyone. So I'll be focusing on the products that work for me. The caveat that although they work for me, they might not work for everyone. So always, and especially with supplements, always consult your doctor before you make any decisions on that front. All right, so to just answer a few questions that I get up front. My hair is pretty long and thick. You can see it's, I just got a trim. My mom cuts my hair and she is the only person who has ever cut my hair. I know that is wild, I'm a full blown adult and have been for many years. And she is the only one who cuts my hair. I'm grateful to have her in my life for so many reasons, but the haircut is just like an absolute bonus. So she knows my hair type, she knows my hair, what I like and she just cut some long layers through the front. My layers are actually a lot longer than they were. She just trimmed them, but they're still very long, but they respond well to like a hot roller, kind of showcases some fullness around the front there. My hair is naturally very straight, so I don't typically blow dry it. I just let it dry overnight. It's naturally stick straight. It always has been. It can dent if I sleep on it, but by and large, it's just very straight. I don't color my hair. I don't go get it highlighted. I've shared many times over. I go to a salon twice a year in Newport Beach, called Tiffany Scott Salon. She's incredible. She is so well versed in hair and does everything from extensions, which I don't have, to color, to cuts. For me, she just gives me a clear gloss twice a year. I just got one a few weeks ago, so my hair is extra bouncy and shiny because of that. It just kind of seals the cuticle, makes it really soft, and I like to do one at the end of summer and then again six months later. My hair is very responsive to sunlight, so I do enhance my natural highlights with lemon and lots of it, chamomile, and a product I'll show you today that does not contain peroxide, but does seem to have a really like lightening effect on hair that is probably medium brown to light brown. Okay, so those are general questions that I get and I now want to show you the products that I use. My makeup today is very minimalist. I've been shooting a lot of content today, so I just kind of reduced myself back to a fairly minimalist canvas. I'm wearing the Euphoria Foundation in two shades, 330 and 360. I'm wearing some mascara, a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk eyeliner, which was residual from something else I was shooting, some blush by Make, and it's the slush color, which is a pretty kind of luminous purple. And that's all I have on my cheeks. No bronzer, no highlighter, nothing else. I'm just glowy because it's hot here. And then for lips, lip combo, it's a little bolder for me, but it's this Sephora lip liner in sink or suede, hard to find color. I found it in stock. I ordered four of them because I was happy to see it again. It looks like this. It's just really good for like cheating out your lip line a little bit and still looking natural. And then this Gucci Beauty lipstick, which is a called Goldie Red. It's like a sheer red. And that's all I have on my lips. And that's the extent of my makeup today. So I'm gonna start with supplements because like I said, I like to take an inside out approach to hair care. And I do think that when you're nourishing your interior, you are helping your hair on the outside and your skin as well. The first thing that I have talked about countless times is the Agent Natur Holy Mane. This is a collagen supplement with pearl powder. It is of all the collagen supplements I've tried and I've tried many. This is my by far my favorite. I order it every month. So even though I work with Agent Natur, I have a code I share with you guys, I buy this and it's not inexpensive, but I would say it's worth it because you do get not only the benefits for hair, it helps reduce hair fall. It gives your hair more strength density, at least that's my experience over time. And it also helps with gut health because of the call, the high quality collagen, nail health and strength and skin health. I get, I feel like much bouncier skin and I take this consistently and I do. I take a scoop every single day, no matter what I'm drinking. I use a frother from Amazon, which I'll link to below to make sure that it blends into whatever I'm drinking, hot or cold, iced tea, hot coffee, iced coffee, 
Sometimes I mix it into yogurt. I've tried it all. I, I don't mind it. I think it's flavorless and it's the, even if it had a flavor, the benefits are so worth it to me that I would just endure. I get a bag for myself. I buy a bag for my mom. She raised me. I can do that. So we both use it and we uh, sing its praises regularly. Highly recommended. Let me know if you have questions. And by the way, my nails are really short right now. You've seen them when they're natural and long, but I've been cutting them down because they grow so fast when I'm on collagen regularly that I tend to make a lot of typing mistakes. I love the look of long nails. I don't love the maintenance. I like to keep them painted. It takes so much time. And also I type so much that I'm constantly making mistakes. I don't know how people with long nails do it regularly and do it well, I can't. So when they're short, I just am a lot more effective and efficient. And so they're short right now, but I miss my long ones and I'm sure they'll grow back soon because I'm on that collagen. <laughs> I take Nutrafol for women here and my husband takes the men's version, which is why I'm differentiating. There are two versions. I've taken this for a couple of years now since I think kind of during the pandemic is when I started. I like it because it's a full hair supplement. It's got a lot of really uh, important vitamins and minerals to support your hair health. And you do take four a day, which is like not fun if you don't like to take a pill. I don't mind it because I take a lot of vitamins and supplements as it is. I just take them with something thick like milk and I'm good to go. But you take four of them. I don't work with Nutrafol. I wish I did because I buy it. I've talked about it so many times. <laughs> You guys love it too. But either way, I'm just talking about it because I'm a customer. I find that taking this consistently also supports hair health really well. If you're finding yourself losing hair, which can happen because of stress, this is one way to help combat that and keep your hair at its optimum. Two other supplements that I am very dedicated to are the, well, three actually. The Silicat, which I take for hair and nails. It's a building block of both. And so I take one silica capsule a day. This one is by Nature's Way. And just one, one a day. I also take a biotin. This is 10,000 MCGs. I just take one little one a day. It helps with hair, skin, and nails. And the silica biotin combo for me is just amazing when it comes to maintaining strength in those areas. And then, and this is a newer addition to my life, I use the Thorn alpha lipoic acid. I get this from my naturopath, but you can order this online as well. Thorne's a great brand for supplements in my experience. One a day. This is an excellent antioxidant, so you're getting great benefits just as far as antioxidants go, but it also supports hair health, and I didn't know that. I've taken this on and off for years, but I reintroduced it back into my routine, and I'm happy to know that you also get benefits with your hair. So hair, skin, antioxidants, immunity support. It does it all and I am thrilled that it also has a hair benefit I didn't know about before. Supplements are something that you should be you know, seeking guidance on before you take them. I am not a doctor, but I'm showing you what I take, what works for me, and I do see a naturopath at least once or twice a year to kind of update her and what I'm taking. I also do like blood tests to make sure all my levels are right. So I'm conscientious about the things that I take. I don't take them with wild abandon because when it comes to vitamins and minerals, you obviously want to be supporting your system, but you don't want to have too little, but you also don't want to have too much. So there are many other supplements I take. I just picked the ones that I think are most specific to hair, but you obviously want, because it's such an individualized thing, you want to check with an expert to make sure that what you're taking is giving you optimum benefits. A final supplement that I didn't bring up here while I was shooting, but I've talked about it before, is a vitamin B complex. I take a basic B and I will link to it below. Vitamin B is excellent to help you with stress, to help you to support your hair, because here is like the quick explanation. And once again, I'm not a nutritionist, but this is how I understand it. If you're stressed out, your body uses up more of your B threshold. As it uses up your B, your hair also feeds off of vitamin B. So if you're stressed out, which I often am, I don't know about you, but if you're stressed and your body's using more B and your hair isn't getting enough of it, you can actually experience hair fall more obviously, more frequently. And it's not always the core reason for hair fall or hair loss, but it can be one of the contributing factors. So. I make sure to take my vitamin B every single day. I just take two. And the beauty of vitamin B is that you can't overdo it in the same way you could perhaps other minerals or vitamins. If you do take too much, 
it just expels elimination through your urine. So it's just extra yellow urine, but you're not actually like hurting yourself with vitamin B. Your body metabolizes it and gets it out. But we often are vitamin B deficient. We don't realize it. And it's, it's definitely with a complex helpful for supporting your stress system and your hair. In terms of some healthy hair habits, like I said before, I don't dry my hair or blow dry my hair often at all. If I do, it's just to take a little bit of liquid off. And I'd love to say it's because I am so conscientious, but it's really because I'm usually tired and unmotivated to blow dry my hair. So I wash it in the evening. I brush it out and I can show you some of my favorite hair brushes right now. This is the S Hearts brush and it's a scalp brush. So these bristles really get into the scalp nicely. Scalp stimulation is so important for hair health. You want to make sure when you're brushing, you're getting to the scalp and encouraging blood flow there. You can also give yourself, just with your fingertips, a light scalp massage to really get the blood flowing. It feels good or have your partner give you a scalp massage. It feels great and it's so good for your hair. Another brush that I use is this one by Michael Van Clark. It's the number one brush and it's my go-to when I get out of the shower. So back to that, I wash my hair, I towel dry it lightly and then I use some detangler if I need it, more on that momentarily. But after that, I go ahead and brush. And the way that I brush my hair is starting at the ends. I always hold the edge and then start at the ends and move up. It's so tempting to wanna to move through here. I'm always in a rush. But if your hair is tangled, you're also going to break your hair. So start low. It's more painstaking, but you have a greater payoff because you're protecting your hair. And then brush through, and as there's no tangles, you can move higher and higher until you get to your scalp. That's the way I like to brush my hair. That's how I brush my daughter Joey's hair and how I've taught her to brush her own hair so she doesn't break it. Starting at the ends. And really, this is how my mom taught me to brush my hair when I was a kid. So it stuck with me. This brush is just a great all around brush and I keep it in my bathroom. And when I travel, obviously it comes with me too. It's wild how similar these look, but they do have different purposes and they're invaluable. They're also both pretty affordable, which I love. I mean, $100, $200 brush, tempting, interesting, probably amazing, but you can definitely get a brush that has really excellent health benefits for your hair without spending that much. Uh, one of those healthy habits then is the way that I brush my hair. Another is sleeping on a silk pillowcase. So I always make sure I have a silk pillowcase on my pillow. Slip makes a great one, but I also have a couple others in rotations from other brands, and I'll make sure to link to the ones that I have. They help to not tear your hair, cause undue stress to your hair, and it's also better for your skin because you're not pressing and kind of indenting wrinkles into your skin the same way you could with a cotton or another type of fiber material. So silk is, has amazing benefits both for hair and skin. It's worth it. And most of the time, these pillowcases are washable. I buy the kind that are, so you can wash it, dry it, put it back on, and you wanna switch your pillowcase out every one to two weeks. Some people say like every week. I'm usually a every two weeks kind of person. So that's why I have a couple on rotation. And when I travel, I take one with me so I can put it on my hotel pillow as well and not disrupt my routine. Just don't forget to take it off when you go home. For products, okay, so my shower is a veritable cathedral of products. I'm testing a lot all the time and I do believe in hair care rotation. So if I were to, and maybe this I'll save this for another video soon, I'll show you some of the other shampoos and conditioners I love that are on rotation. Today, I'm just gonna show you ones that I've run through a lot of. I really tried to edit these formulations for you. And so one is the, well, I like this, this right here. I'm almost out of it actually. It's the Orbe Signature Shampoo and Signature Conditioner. I'm both like, I'm down to here on both. But this is always, you know, I wash my hair every two days every other day, sometimes every three days if I can swing it. But I like, I'm usually on an every other day schedule. And I like to use a shampoo and then a conditioner. Sometimes a mask, but, but rarely. I just try to keep it as simple as possible. This cleans really well, it smells amazing, doesn't strip your hair. When I'm applying shampoo, I put it at the roots and bring it through to he about here. My ends don't really feel dirty because I don't use a lot of styling products, if any. And then when I've rinsed out my shampoo, I put conditioner on the ends, so from here to here. 
and let that sit for another minute or two while I shave my legs, maybe exfoliate my skin, etc. I also really love the Revitalash shampoo and conditioner, which I just finished bottles of and I just ordered more. I just got more, but I didn't bring it into this video, but that's another one that was just empty. I've gone through multiple sets. My mom likes it too. It's volumizing. It really gives you full, healthy, bouncy hair. So I'll link to a video where I use it and also to that set because I think it's really good. But those are two you know, shampoo conditioners I wanted to mention. Detangler, I love the Orbe Run Through Detangling Primer. It's an intense detangler, my friends. If you're looking to really remove tangles, this will do it, but use it conservatively. I only spray it on my ends, never at my crown because it's too heavy. But if you've tried other detanglers and just felt like it didn't detangle the way you wanted, this, I promise you, will take your business. I get some wild snarls under here sometimes, especially when it's dry out or really windy, and this always takes care of business. I think a detangler is so essential because if your hair is tangly and you're trying to brush it, you're also breaking it or you're losing it. So you need to be detangled to move through your hair and you need to brush your hair for hair health. I am working on a special project right now, that's all I can say, but I'm working on something that's more in the daily detangling zone to be continued. Just know I feel very passionately about detangler and I can't wait to tell you more soon. So love this Rose Milk Hair Serum. It's a three-in-one leave-in hydrating elixir and it's a unique product on many fronts. You can put it into wet hair or dry hair. It helps to detangle, to soften, and to style or kind of just like refine your hair. I don't usually use it on wet hair, but I do like to put it on my dry hair on second day and just bring it through my ends. It looks like this. It's so lightweight. So even though it looks like a cream, you just kind of put it on my, I put it on my fingertips like this and then I just bring it through and it just instantly absorbs into your hair. It doesn't feel heavy. It smells amazing and it really does a beautiful job of fortifying and helping your hair. It's one of those multitasking products I'm very happy to have in my routine. I also love the Rose Foundation Shampoo and Conditioner, another almost empty pair that's in my shower right now. So this is a great line, and, and this serum has sold out a bunch of times, so hopefully by the time I link to it and you watch this video, it's back in stock again. All right, so I mentioned that I like to use lemon, chamomile, a mixture of the two to enhance my natural highlights on top. I also use this Orbe Bright Blonde Sun Lightning Mist. I'm about down to here on this one. So I don't use it daily, but if I'm gonna be out in the sun for a while, I'll put some on and I kind of just spray it all over because I know my hair is gonna lighten up on the top. And this one has a high concentration of lemon as well. So if I don't wanna make my own lemon, I use this one. There is zero peroxide in this. I don't think it's going to lift your hair to a really light place if your hair is dark, but I think if it's already prone to natural highlights, if it's in that medium brown to light brown range, or if you're blonde, it'll make you blonder, it certainly does have good interplay with hair that's on the lighter side of the scale. I'm always interested in the chemistry and the formulation behind hair lightening mists, more on that soon. But in the meanwhile, this is the one that I reached for and I just wanted to put it on your radar. Some of you have tried it and you told me you like it like I do. For styling, I use two things for most of my life. One are the T3 volumizing curlers. I didn't bring the whole set in here because it's cumbersome. It's not cumbersome, but I just didn't wanna bring it in. I've shown it to you guys before. I've shown you like take them out, put them in. These rollers are like my go-to. I travel with them. I love that you can pop them in. They're easy to put in. I usually only use like six of them, three on top, three in the back. And I do other things, my makeup, clean the house, do a phone call, do email. And then within 10 minutes, I have nice, volumized, bouncy, smooth looking hair, almost like you got a blowout. It's not gonna give you tight curls, but that's not what I'm going for. These are great. I'm an old school hot roller fan. These are velvety, so they never get tangled in my hair. And the clips that come with it hold everything in place. I, like I said, I have thick, long hair, and that one set takes care of business for me. I don't usually even end up using all of them. Second day hair, and I used these this morning. The curl is out because I was outside shooting and it's so sweltering outside I had sweat dripping everywhere so my hair my scalp is actually still sweaty so this the curl is gone at this point for today but I still have this like very smooth kind of blowout look and I attribute it to these rollers when I want a more pronounced curl with minimal effort I use this heatless curl set 
This one's from Kitsch. I bought it online. I bought one for my daughter, for my mom, for all the women in my life. And it's fun. You just kind of, I'll link to a video where I put it in and you guys can see what that looks like. But you basically clip it up here, wrap your hair around. I'm doing it very haphazardly, but there's a process I have found that works. And then you sleep with it. I think the trick is to then, once you get your two kind of braidy, milk, milkmaid looking braids, then I take another silk scrunchie and put those together at the base of my neck so it's all like a hairdo. And then I don't feel like they flop around all night. In the morning, my hair is very curly. And depending on how tight you wrap it, it can be super curly or a softer curl. I've experimented. I'll link to some videos where I do that. I think this is, is helpful. Some people don't like this. I do. And I do think that when you, when you have time at night, you can plan ahead. This is a great route for getting that curl as long as your hair, at least for me, is completely dry when I put them in. Because if it's wet, I don't feel like my hair dries overnight with that. Another question I get about this one is, is it comfortable to sleep in? I guess it all depends on what kind of sleeper you are. I am a heavy sleeper once I go to sleep. <laughs> I'm usually dead tired at the end of the day. So I lay down on that silk pillowcase and I don't feel like there's any issue. I don't feel it. It's not uncomfortable to me. I think once I know it's secure, I don't care. I just sleep and I tend to be a back sleeper. So I don't feel it. But if you are a sensitive or light sleeper, maybe you wanna opt for the curlers in the morning so that you're not thinking about what's in your hair all night. Totally your preference. And that concludes the kind of top hair care products that I reach for and use and recommend. I think that uh, one other thing that I just needs to be said is that a silk scrunchie is essential for me if I'm going to tie back my hair. Silk does not break the hair, so I use the ones from Slip. I found some from other brands. Clementine Sleep makes a beautiful one. I actually just went to get the one from Clementine because I just show you. This is for sleeping, so you can kind of loosely tie your hair up. Extra large silk scrunchie. This color just slays me. I love this soft mint green so much. And I use this one even in a day just for a big fluffy ponytail, low ponytail. One other thing with hair that I think is important is that when you are pulling your hair tight, it stresses everything out. I know that really tight slicked back buns, that clean look is very much in right now. I don't mind it for a picture, but I don't do that on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like when you can let your hair breathe and move, that you're, you're, you're getting more circulation. When you're constricting everything, it causes stress to the crown of your hair, which is most prone to breakage. And it also kind of inhibits circulation on some front. So I tend to opt for looser hairstyles. I wear my hair down a lot. And if I wear it back, I do like to just put it in a low pony like this and maybe bring a few pieces down. But just something like that, and not as chic as a slicked back bun or a really tight high pony. I love seeing that on other people, but for myself, I tend to just do that to kind of keep the circulation going and not stress out my crown. Also, I get a headache if I pull my hair back too tight or for too long because it's also heavy and I just feel it. So that's just my approach. It's different for everyone once again. I hope you found this hair discussion helpful. I am headed out of town and I wanted to film this before I left so my energy is like let's get through this and then I got to finish packing but I hope you found the products that I've covered to be interesting and insightful. I would love to know what stands out to you. If you have any questions please let me know. I'll link to some other hair centric posts on Beauty Professor below where I've covered other products in my rotation. So Thank you for being here. More videos to come. I'm really trying to stay consistent here. And in the meanwhile, you can always see updated content on Instagram, my LTK shop. And also please make sure to subscribe here if you haven't. I've been on YouTube a long time. I never ask people to subscribe, but I've realized like that's a standard on channels. I never say it, but please do. If you enjoy my content and share my content with others, invite them here. I really am aiming to be consistent and to be as much of a resource as humanly possible. In the meanwhile, don't forget to visit me at Beauty Professor, which can be found at beautyprofessor.com. Take care.